No, I love all the characters. I just uh, coordinated my outfit and the, uh, the the pink the pink work today. But actually, I, we have shirts for all of them. We we don't discriminate. So yeah, they're all great. How have the attendees at Comic Con uh, received you guys? Very nicely. Yeah, we uh, Comic Con and us go way back. Uh, and before we were Bob's, I think we already fit together with the fans at Comic Con. It's just uh, a marriage, you know. We, 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 these are our people. Can you talk about the evolution of Comic Con? Have you, have you seen? Like, has it changed a lot? I mean, I've been coming probably 10 years. I, it has gotten bigger, but um, it's always been, for me, it feels the same because, you know, to me, I don't care if it's you know if it's big or small. It's just about the like the passion of the fans. They're incredibly um, important to us, you know. And and yet we don't. This is all we get. You know what I mean? Especially I've been coming here since basically before the internet. I mean, it existed, but there wasn't as much. And so for me, it's you know it, it goes back to just meeting people who've seen the show. I'm talking about shows before Bob's uh, that I worked on. So now doing Bob's, you know, and getting to, to meet the people who, who were making it for it, it's really important. We got to go back and you know and go to work in a little you know little building with no windows. It is different though. The first year we came, uh, nobody the show wasn't on the air yet, so you know people came because they knew home movies or Lord's reputation, but uh, it was sort of a an act of faith, you know, to come to come to the the, the, the first panel, uh, but it's built over the years, you know, and, uh, and with the costumes, the cosplay, and everything, and so it's it's more and more fun. A weird place. Um, Crawl space was probably from the very beginning, and uh, and that was based on your personal experience, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You talk about a lit like place, like a place where we would set an or episode. Is that what you or mean? Or a dark place in our minds. <laughs> <laughs> we like we like doing weird physical places. Yeah, we it's fun to do. It's fun that our second episode was inside the walls of the house. But I, yeah, I think it's nice to just kind of. It, basically, you want to do as many shows in the restaurant and the house as you can, and then just here and there, do the opposite. You know, make the show sort of turn upside down so like for example right now we're writing one where Bob gets stuck in a sporting goods store overnight <laughs> and we have an, an Easter show too we're going back inside the walls we gotta go in the walls yeah, yeah. we yeah, can't get so, out of there yeah. how do you think characters have developed from the first episode or just when you thought of the characters they were just ideas and now working on the other show I have an answer but uh, I'd, want, I'd be curious to hear yours. How they've evolved, uh, the characters themselves. Um, well, they sing a lot more huh. than, than they did in the beginning. True. Uh, uh, and I think, I think the actors have, have created them or added much dimension to them as well uh, in the studio. Um, I don't know. What's your answer? What I've been like, thinking whenever I am like presented with the possibility that the show has changed, I always actually say, we well, try not to let it change. <laughs> we kind of don't want it to yeah. evolve, in a way, but it does, so it's yeah. a good tension. I, in a way, I think we're the worst people to answer that question, if we're doing our job right. In a way, the show should, we should be like going to work, doing the same show we've been doing since the beginning, because that's, you know, part of our responsibility, is to not break the damn thing yeah. every time we start a new episode. Like, they have to be the same. But they, you do this for long enough, and they will change a little bit, but it's almost like, I don't want to know. And we also, we find, as we write stories, we find new characters that we didn't have to begin, that we love. You know, regular size Rudy is an example of that. Uh, Zeke, uh, they weren't part of the original uh, uh, repertoire of, of characters, but once, and it's in combination with the actor that that plays them, and and when it succeeds, you know, and the writers keep wanting to write them, and they they just sort of grow in the family. Yeah. Uh, 
um, you know, I love the Jaws episode. Good. Um, is there a, a film that you really, really want to like, maybe do an homage next? Hmm. We get to do all the homages yeah. we want. I mean, yeah. boy, we see, you know, we're uh, if we can think of a of an homage, we 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 just do it. We're, we're, we we are about to do one. We're gonna do a yeah, we're gonna do a bunch of them. We have one that's really fun coming up where we get to sneak aliens into a school play that never happened. The kids come home and lie to Linda about the school play that she missed. And Tina creates this whole Ripley adventure with Jocelyn and Jimmy Jr. and Zeke. Uh, and then she turns it into a body switching story. So Ripley and the alien queen change bodies like Freaky Friday. That's like a double homage. And that's our favorite kind of homage to do is the double. Like the Die Hard work. Like the Die Hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Tough one. Oh yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's kind of the same thing. I don't want to be the definitive answer on that, but I will say, I, I think if you dropped into, you know, any of the like, um, I mean, I like the first season just because we were. That was when we were starting on the show, Crawl Space or um, Bob Drives a Cab yes. or um, Art Crawl. They're yeah. all yeah. like important. Yeah. You know, you should see those if you were that person. Yeah. That, that wacky person who's, who needs this kind of advice. <laughs> yeah.